DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the genetic material found inside a cell. A person's DNA is unique to them, just like a fingerprint. The only people in the world who share identical DNA are identical twins. Small portions of the DNA are called alleles. When a scientist looks at a piece of DNA, they can analyse the alleles they find. The alleles are identified and given a unique number. These numbers represent a person's DNA profile. At each location on the DNA molecule, a person has two alleles. Therefore, when looking at a person's DNA profile, you will see two numbers for each part or location of the DNA analysed. At the point of conception, a child's DNA is formed. Half of the DNA comes from the mother in the egg and half comes from the father in the sperm. Therefore, when we look at a child's DNA profile, one of the numbers at each of the locations will match one of the numbers at the same location for each biological parent. Half of the alleles, or numbers, will match exactly to the DNA of the biological mother and the other half will match exactly to the biological father. When testing other relationships, such as potential siblings, test participants are not expected to match at all locations. These tests are based on the fact that biologically related individuals will have more DNA in common than those that are unrelated. The amount of common DNA depends on how closely the individuals are indeed related.